The International Herb Association has designated the rose to be the herb of the year for 2012. Many people don't know that roses are edible. If you are in India or Pakistan or many other countries, you'll find rose-flavored ice creams and rose-flavored cakes and all kinds of nice rose desserts. Roses are used for cosmetics and crafts and all kinds of other things, but they're a really tasty ingredient for the kitchen. Any rose is edible. However, the caution I would give is don't eat roses from a florist because they have been highly sprayed with pesticide in order to make them the beautiful roses that you want from a florist. But if you grow them in your own garden, or if you have a friend who has roses, the old-fashioned varieties and the tea roses that smell good will taste good. Just remember, in choosing a rose, the better the fragrance, the better the flavor. Doesn't matter the color, but red roses often have, have less flavor and less fragrance than some of the other colors. If you are choosing red roses, just simply pull a petal off and taste the base of it. There is a little white tip at the base of every rose, and on some varieties it's slightly bitter, won't hurt you, but if you object to the bitterness, simply snip it off. I don't find that many roses have that bitterness, and so I don't do anything with them. I just use them as they are. I pick them in the morning, after the dew has left, and before the heat of the day, that's when the fragrance and the best flavor will be found. One really way to, uh, easy way to learn to like the flavor of roses is a rose salad. And to do that, I'm going to use some leaf lettuces from our garden. We have some nice red varieties this year. And I'll add a few green romaines from the garden. And then I'm simply going to just take some cut up lettuce Pile it in the middle, make a nice, bountiful little salad. I'm going to add some blueberries because blueberries are in season right now and I really like to use seasonable, ve seasonal vegetables and fruits. I'm going to add some strawberries. Then I'm going to add some toasted pecans, a little bit of blue cheese. If you don't like blue cheese, just leave it off. I happen to like blue cheese. I'm going to add the blue cheese. I'm going to top it off with some rose petals from a couple of varieties. Very fragrant. You can't overdo it. The roses are not going to overpower anything, but look how beautiful they are. And the last thing I'm adding is some rose vinegar. The rose salads, rose cakes, and rose vinegars are all to be found in my book, How to Eat a Rose. So I would encourage you, eat those roses and enjoy them.